I love getting mail, but the problem is I think my mail person is the sloth from Zootopia. So I'm gonna come up with a way to make my mail person get there faster. Oh, that's it. Checker flags make everything go faster. I'll paint my mailbox like a checker flag. She thinks she's in a rain and she'll get there super quick. Oh, sorry, Paisley. So to start with, I got a blank mailbox. Oh, wait, excuse me for a second. All right, where was I? Oh yeah, to start with, I got a blank mailbox. I sanded it and cleaned it just like I do every single thing else. Literally, it's the same process for everything. If you paint a skateboard, a motorcycle, a mailbox. Next, I'm gonna mask it up using transfer tape so I can pencil on my wavy, checkeredy, flaggy lines. These. Whatever. But to be honest, all these sounds, it's so, so satisfying. I mean, really, I can watch this all day. I'm just gonna sketch out a few wavy lines with my pencil and try to figure out where I want my checker pattern to be. When you get satisfied with that, just trace over it with a little marker so you can see it better because it's gonna look like chicken scratch. And don't worry if it's not perfect. Anybody that sees this thing's gonna be going too fast to slow down to see it anyway. Just checkered flag. It's kind of the point. Don't overthink it. If you get confused, just let your hand go free. Try to follow the same wavy line. Just change it up a little bit each progressive line. All right, now don't get cross-eyed on this next part, but what you're gonna do is put an X on every other checkered square, okay? These are the ones gonna be cut out, removed, and sprayed, okay? If you get confused, they all go in a diagonal across corner to corner, simple. But if you mess it up and get the pattern off, it's gonna look stupid, so. I'm just kidding. Nobody probably even noticed, to be honest with you. Cause so we're going fast, man. Fast. Yeah. Okay. Get back to work. Now the next thing you want to do is get a fresh, brand spanking new blade, cause you're gonna put very little pressure to go only through the paper, not the paint or the metal. Or oh, be careful. It's sharp. Now trace your lines with your Exacto blade. Very light pressure only cutting through the paper. It doesn't have to be exact either. If you get off the line just a little bit, don't worry. When you're done pulling all your squares off, it should look like a checkerboard, but you're not done. We gotta spray it white. And hopefully you kept all those little squares we pulled off neat and organized, cause you're gonna have to put them back on again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm messing, I'm sorry. Now for the next step, you're gonna spray the Mate Waite. And uh, I may have screwed up and pressed pause when I wanted to press record and press record while I wanna hit pause. Otherwise I'd have a really cool shot of misty white paint flowing through the air. But here, you, you, this is what you got. Now comes the task after it's all dry, of course, taking every one of those other squares off to reveal the black base. Oh boy, it's looking checkered flaggy now -y. Okay, just pull all the squares off. Whoops, left a piece of tape on. Okay, now here is where it gets good. It's my absolute favorite parts, the herb brush. It's where all the magic happens. Most of the time I go against the curve. If the diagonal is going this way, I go the opposite way. Before this, I put some really reduced black in my airbrush and I just really, really lightly sketch out some lines and on some of them you can follow the lines but don't follow all the lines i know a lot of people get confused here what i do is i'll step back and i'll extend my arm fully and lightly lightly let just let my hand go and do what it wants to do if it wants to curve this way this way this way that way you're not committed to anything and when you step back and you look, you say, oh, oh, okay, I see something here. And then you can start building on that and making it darker and darker and turning that into a fold. And you'll start to see the actual waves that aren't even there. It's like you're a magician or something. I don't even know how to explain it. That's just the best I could do. I don't even know what I'm doing. Like if you compared this to an actual flag that's waving on Google, it looks nothing like a realistic flag waving. But nobody else is gonna know that and besides, 
when you're driving down the road and you see a checkered flag, you're going past it too fast to even recognize and notice anyway. So as you're looking around, you'll notice some of these squares have some sharp angles from where your cutout was not exactly as smooth as possible, but have no fear. That is not a mistake. That is actually a strength. And what you're gonna do is that is a fold. So you just did all the work and you didn't even know it. For this one, I'm gonna shadow the edges and the accent lines like around the rim and the front of the door just because I feel like it frames it in nicely and it gives it a good stopping point. And one good thing about this is that if you've scratched up any of your white pieces, taking it off, this is where a shadow will fix it. A purposeful, not on purpose shadow and a, to cover up a bad spot. Hey, we don't make accidents. They're all happy mistakes. Wait, no, no, that's not how it goes at all. Okay, now that you got all your shadow lines down, you're pretty happy with it. It's time to give this thing some real life and do your white highlights. Listen, don't freak out. Right, what? Calm down, calm down. The way to think about this is in between your shadow areas, it's going to have a highlight. Simple. We are done. Let's strap this bad boy on the mailbox and see if that makes the mail lady come any faster. I really hope so. All right, Paisley, let's see if the mail lady comes any faster. Oh, I think I hear her. Hey, wait, stop her. Um, I think that might have worked a little too good.